I think that the doctor-patient relationship is good when the doctor and the patient have shared expectations. If you have a destroyed wrist and you know your joint is, is a mess and 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 you think going into surgery that I can make you perfect, that's gonna be a problem because there's sometimes that we just can't make people perfect. We can make things as good as we can make them. And so a lot of times if somebody has an injury or a problem, it's spending the time to talk with people and teaching them about what they're facing and, and trying to establish for them what a reasonable expectation for where we can take your problem. And so I think when people have this, I think when the doctor and the patient have shared expectations for this is what we're going to consider to be a good outcome. Because there, there's problems where I may be done in terms of what I can do for you and, I, and I'm personally thrilled with how things have turned out where it's not normal. But, but it really is as good as it can possibly be given the circumstances. And, and so taking the time to make sure that you and your patient get on the same page about where you are and where you're trying to go, that's what I think establishes a good doctor-patient relationship. So to give, to give one example of a, of a story of taking care of a, of a person, um, I took care of a, of a young man who had had, a, who had had an injury to his radial nerve up by his elbow. And because of that injury, he could not extend his wrist and could not extend his fingers because the nerve wasn't working. And he had been that way for five or six years. <coughs> and, I, and I met him and I said, well, you know, we can make this better. We can, we can do what's called a tendon transfer and we can steal some tendons where you have duplicate function and reroute them and hook them up to the tendons that aren't firing and we can give you back all of the function that you don't have right now. But it's gonna be an operation and we're gonna to have to do this and this and this. And, and he was very scared of that, and so he went away and didn't schedule surgery. He came back a year later and wanted to talk about it again. So we went through it again, and, and he decided to do it. And so we put him through this operation and um, fixed his tendons and you know, changed things and put him into therapy, and there's extensive therapy when you do this, this type of work. And, and, um, and I saw him the other day in the little corner store down at the end of my road, and he was moving away from, um, from Concord. And, and, and he said, I'm so glad I saw you. He said, doing this was the best thing I've ever done because now my hand works. He says, look at how my hand works. Everything, I can, I can straighten my fingers again. I can move my wrist. And he said, you know, thank you for taking the time to talk to me and you know, put me back on track. It's also very heartwarming and it, and it keeps you, you know, getting up early in the morning to go keep doing your job.